Our top story at 11, a Monroe County firefighter and his family recovering after flames blazed through their home. Sabrina Burst joins us in studio with what happened and how the community is rallying to help. That's right, Frank Dean Comer is used to fighting flames around the county, but today he responded to his own house fire. Because I made a playroom for the kids. Corrine Comer remembers what her house looked like before a fire scorched it on Friday around noon. She found irony in that her husband, Dean Comer, is a firefighter in Monroe County. He found it really odd to be on the receiving end of what he does daily in his life. She called this home for about 15 years with her four children. Shane Cook, Monroe County's fire and EMS spokesperson, say they're still investigating what caused the fire. He says Comer's 12-year-old son was home when it happened. They transported him to the medical center uh, for smoke inhalation, uh, but he has since been transferred to the burn center in Augusta. I'm not sure how we're going to explain to the little ones, you know, about our house. Even though most of the home was destroyed, you can still see a few items inside the home that didn't go up in flames, like these deck of cards. We have to move forward. There's no if, ands, or buts. You have to move forward for the kids. Comer says God and the community will make that process easier. Just the love that everybody's showing just means the world. The family is currently staying in a hotel and this weekend Monroe County firefighters are accepting donations for the family at a station in Bolingbroke. Frank, back to you. All right, Sabrina, thank you very much. The family is asking for Visa and other gift card donations so the family can buy what they need. You can drop those items off between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. at the fire station on Rivoli Road.